Today on AI Roundup, we're unpacking the question, is XAI's Grok a croc? What up, friends? I'm Phil Buck, your host of AI Roundup, a weekly digest of all things AI related. And if you enjoy what we're doing here on the show, please tap that like button and sub to the channel. And in the latest news related to large language models, XAI is under fire for the possibility that their highly superior LLM is just a ripoff of OpenAI's GPT. X user Jax Winterborn has been posting his findings that when prompting Grok to create malicious code, it denies the request, and when Jax pushes back on Grok about why, it answers with the references to OpenAI's content policies, uh, going as far as replying with, quote, as a language model developed by OpenAI, uh, and on and on and on. So wh what is actually going on here? <laughs> The official response from XAI employee Igor Barbushkin is, the issue here is that the web is full of ChatGPT outputs, so we accidentally picked up some of them when we trained Grok on a large amount of web data. Okay, hmm. Is it really just a case of AI cross-contamination or is there more to the story? Critics are pointing out that large language models like Grok don't usually spit out training data verbatim, so is it a coincidence that Grok is mirroring OpenAI's policies? Or did XAI use datasets that included ChatGPT output for fine-tuning Grok? Uh, let's circle back to Jax Winterborn's tweets. Uh, he's been vocal suggesting that Grok's behavior isn't as rare as XAI claims. And there's an interesting angle here about the AI community's practice of using outputs from one model to train another. For instance, Stanford researchers used outputs from OpenAI's GPT-3 model to fine tune their alpaca model. I think we covered that on the show a while back. This practice has become so widespread that there are even guides on how to do it. And I think the caveat here is that most of the time, the terms and conditions for these models forbid the use of their outputs for training other LLMs. So I did want to shout out to Ed Newton Rex, who we covered last week for this tweet that I think really nails the heart of this hypocrisy. He says, uh, most generative AI providers forbid training new models on their output while arguing that their own training on copyrighted work is fair use. And I'm yet to see a single attempt to justify this. Oh, fair use, you poor, poor doctrine. You're doing some <laughs> serious heavy lifting these days. All right, so Twitter or X or whatever has been buzzing with all sorts of takes on this. This is where I first heard about this story, in fact. Uh, some of the users like Cybertronic suggest that Grok might have been trained on OpenAI's outputs or is experiencing some kind of hallucination. Uh, Bird Hustle points out the likelihood of Grok being trained on GPT-3 to cut cost, which might explain the similar behavior. Some other folks even suggested that perhaps uh, Grok is just using OpenAI's API <laughs> and serving as an AI middleman. I don't know. Uh, and I spotted this in an article from Futurism's The Bite. NBC news reporter Ben Collins quipped, uh, We plagiarized your plagiarism so we could put plagiarism in your plagiarism. <laughs> Uh, exhibit pimp my LLM I guess is what's going on here <laughs> all right so to wrap this up while Grok's mimicry of OpenAI's policy has stirred up the tech world it also highlights a broader trend in AI development the line between borrowing fine-tuning and outright copying becomes blurrier as AI models become more and more sophisticated and intertwined is AI nothing more than a plagiarism engine is the internet becoming an internet of things where machines and bots are the only thing that talk to each other and they're creating content and outputs for each other to consume and index and we're all just caught in the wash of this inundating flow of data. It's not an exciting prospect. It, it makes me, you know, pine for the 2000s, the early aughts. All right, so what do you think? Is Grok's behavior just an innocent case of AI learning from AI? Or is there more to the story? Drop your thoughts in the comments below or join us on the MMM Discord. And that's our AI roundup for today. If you enjoy what we're doing here on the show, please help me out by liking this video. Drop me a comment and sub to the channel. Also, be sure to follow us on social media. It's at MSP Media TV everywhere. If you'd like to reach out, you can email us. The address is news at mspmedia.tv, or you can leave us a voicemail at 833-MSP-NETWORK. All right, y'all, I'm Phil Buck, and this has been your December 13th episode of AI Roundup, and I'll see you next time. This has been a broadcast of the MSP Media Network.